Car News China says that CATL, the world's largest battery company, who have a, mon a monopoly, according to the Chinese government, on the global battery market, are the first company to deploy humanoid robots en masse on their production lines. Now, if you think about it, they have the best sodium ion batteries in the world, better than BYDs, better than everyone else's in terms of their actual energy density and the combination of their lifespan as well. They can last for around 5 million kilometers of EV driving. And they now can get rid of hum humans and just use robots instead. How can anyone catch up to them? Or can they? Probably not. I've been suggesting to people for years now to buy CATL stock. I've been saying this for four years. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. So CATL, according to Car News China, has achieved the wor a world first scale deployment of embodied AI humanoid robots on battery production lines. And this is a pretty big deal because these guys are already dominating the global battery market and this gives them yet another advantage. The humanoid robot named Moz is capable of performing complex operations such as precisely connecting high voltage battery connectors, marking a milestone in the application of embodied AI in robotics. So according to CATL, Moz has been deployed in the end of line EOL and direct current resistance testing processes, eliminating some staff, I imagine, critical final functional tests for battery packs before shipment. These processes previously required human workers to precisely connect test plugs carrying hundreds of volts to specific locations on battery packs, creating high voltage spark risks and inconsistencies in efficiency and quality. In other words, CATO was like, well, if we have any issues, they're probably being caused by humans. Let's replace them with robots and um, we'll save some money at the same time. And that's exactly what they've done. Moz has dramatically transformed this situation, apparently. Equipped with end-to-end -end vision language action VLA models, I'm not sure if that's true, but that's what they're claiming. The robot demonstrates powerful environmental perception and task generalization capabilities that make it uniquely suited for this complex work. Can it really do all that? Or is that just a blurb from CATL? My answer to that would be no, no. Really, if it demonstrated powerful environmental perception and task generalization capabilities, it would be a robot that CATL, I mean, their stock price would be worth a hundred times tomorrow what it's worth now, literally a hundred. Because the global labor force market is worth oh, like maybe 500 times more than the global battery market. So if CATL could had a robot that could really do what, Car News China and CATL says, then this would be the biggest game changer for the last 100 years globally. And everyone would be onto their stock immediately because, you know, everyone would be saying, well, Tesla, you've lost the race. Game over. Your bot sucks because CATL is already more efficient than you. They make everything in China. They're the biggest battery company in the world. They have robots that can already do what you say you're going to be able to do in, I don't know how long, Elon Musk time, put it that way. So no, it can't do all that stuff, but it is pretty impressive though. According to CATL, the robot excels in three key areas. Precision adaptation. Moz can independently adjust to incoming material position deviations and connection point changes, continuously modifying its operational posture in real time. But my guess is it's based on certain parameters. The, ro the robot has been programmed with. I don't think it can just adapt to anything. Put it that way. Flexible operation. When inserting and removing flexible wire harnesses, Moz dynamically adjusts its force to ensure reliable connections without damaging components. Efficiency and reliability. In actual production, Moz maintains a connection success rate above 99% with operational efficiency matching that of skilled human workers. Basically, really, the truth is, sorry, CHL, I know you guys email me and you're nice to me, that's great, but the truth is, no need to bullshit. This robot's doing a really good job of replacing the humans that were doing this job before. In other words, it's doing specific jobs it's been trained to do, and it's doing them very well. But yeah, the other stuff they said, obviously, is not accurate. Moz has become an indispensable member of our production line, said CATL. Beyond its primary tasks, it autonomously detects wire harness connection status, reports anomalies immediately to reduce defect rates, and proactively switches to inspection mode between operations. Now this shows you that every battery company in the world 
has consistency issues with batteries and they have to throw some of them out. This is actually everyone has to go through this process, not just Tesla, as some people would tell you. When facing continuous production of multiple battery models, Moz has demonstrated a threefold increase in daily workload with exceptional consistency and stability. Now, are they saying that Moz can do three times more work than a human? Probably. Um, and they can work 24 hours a day. And guess what? Moz doesn't complain either. Moz doesn't look at his phone. Moz doesn't get distracted. Moz doesn't go out for drinks the night before. Moz doesn't have not enough sleep like what I'm going to get tonight. So yeah, this is just what's going to happen to all of us eventually. Moz was developed by Spirit AI, a robotics company within CATL's ecosystem and is powered by CATL's self-developed batteries. Basically, CATL actually set up a separate battery production line for batteries specifically made for humanoid robots. And this humanoid robot has batteries from that production line. And I'm going to guess that, ironically, um, humanoid robots that are using batteries from that production line will be working on that same production line. That's kind of crazy. Thanks for watching.